Come in, Mrs. My name is Miss Alice de Bouvier. I'm Mr. Holmes' new neighbor. That child standing sniffling behind her. Get rid of him, Watson. But he is shivering with cold. And he is upset. What happened to him? Little Tom knocked at the wrong door. Oh, for crying out loud. Now you meet Tom Hurst, a Whitechapel boy who's come seeking the help of the famous detective in the matter of his father's disappearance. The gameplay in The Devil's Daughter is based on your powers of observation, deduction and analysis. And when dealing with the young Tom, you can only make progress in the investigation by asking the right questions. What's his name? George Hurst, sir. And when was the last time you saw him? Three weeks ago. He left for a new job, but this time he was acting a bit strange and angry. Strange? In what way? He said to me, son, I'm out on a special job. Don't you dare move from here. I think something went wrong. Very well. Your address, please, Tom. 12 Dorset Street, the first floor, door E. It's in Whitechapel, sir. I ain't got no money to pay. Who asked for money, Tom? Your case seems to be the very medicine I need. I'll meet you there shortly. Oh, thank you, sir. Now that you control Sherlock Holmes, you can move to his wardrobe to change. As Sherlock is a master of disguise, some of the game's passages require you to modify his appearance in order to conduct your investigations incognito. For the moment, we'll just put on a simple overcoat. first time in the Sherlock Holmes games, you can move freely through several of the districts of London. The area around Baker Street lets you appreciate the power of our technology, in particular the use of physically based rendering, which makes lights and textures seem more real than ever. You can switch the game to a first-person perspective at any time, which may help you to find clues. In order to go to Tom's home, speak to a cab driver and select your next destination. Once at Whitechapel, you must find the young Tom Hurst's apartment using the address he gave you. To get there, you can ask bystanders for directions, knock on doors, and look around using Sherlock's power of observation. Excuse me, how can I get to Dorset Street? Is it far? You're heading the wrong way. You need to go back and then go through the arch. A few moments later, we are now at the Hurst's apartment on 12 Dorset Street, where we can start looking for clues about George Hurst's disappearance. In The Devil's Daughter, Does there are I clues understand? that are essential to solving the case, and others that will simply give you more insight about the game's lore. My mother, sir, she died when I was very young. My father told me what she was like, but that's all I have. I'm sorry, Tom. My mother left me when I was very young, too. Hurst covered his bills ahead of time, thus providing Tom with security and sustenance. too dark. I can't see anything. Sometimes you'll need specific items or evidence to progress through the adventure. Here, you only need a candlelight and some matches to light the attic. But as you move on, obstacles will become more complex. A leather satchel, what's in? We have now found a letter mentioning the special job Tom was talking about earlier. Let's follow this lead.
Old clothes, soiled and worn. In detective mode, which you can activate at any time, you can use the detective's extraordinary abilities to reveal clues that are invisible to most mere mortals. Your investigation leads you to a pub in which a certain special job seems to be offered. With the new eavesdropping feature, Sherlock will have to gather enough information about the man offering this special job. Keep in mind that in the easiest difficulty setting, you can skip skill-based activities if you just want to enjoy the story. Equality for the working class. I'm glad I'm my own boss. I can complain only to myself. Or to Watson. By continuing our investigation, we will eventually find our man. To do so, you will have the help of an old-time ally. You see that gentleman? I need you to follow him and report back to me. All right, Mr. Holmes. Wiggins is one of the playable characters that will help you during the adventure. You can use his agility and knowledge of the streets of Whitechapel to follow your suspect completely undetected. This chase sequence, a new feature in the Sherlock Holmes games, puts your skills to the test as you try to follow your target without being seen. Playing as Wiggins shows you the hard life of the street urchins at this time. We shortened this sequence so you can keep the surprise when you play the game. We'll now take over as Sherlock and Watson to conduct the investigation about this special job. Good day, gentlemen. Welcome to my home. How may I help you? Good day to you, Lord Marsh. My name this is interrogation gives us the chance to show you how the character observation has evolved. Using Sherlock's extraordinary talents and your analytical skills, hunt down clues and make the right deductions in order to unlock additional options for the rest of the investigation. You may make the wrong deductions and miss precious clues. I hope we're not disturbing you. You are with your physician? Yes, this is Dr. Reuben Fisher. But no, please, I'm intrigued by your visit, Mr. Holmes. I'm glad to hear it. The last thing I'd wish is to upset the patient. Lord Marsh, can I just say that I admire all of your efforts in assisting the poor of London? Ah, uh, yes. It is a war that we must fight on our streets and now, too, from my home. Forgive me, Lord Marsh. You're looking very pale. Might I offer Dr. Watson's assistance? That is kind of you, but I feel confident that I can provide Lord Marsh with the care that he requires. During the interrogations, you can interrupt a character whose sincerity you doubt. It's only influenza. I'll be better in a few days. I can feel it already. Open your notebook to check any clues found previously to successfully conduct the interrogation. In that case, why are you taking such powerful painkillers? Excuse me, what do you mean? Mr. Holmes is referring to the pills on your table. I'm sorry, but that's a medical confidentiality. Last year, three orphans were put through medical college. Thanks to Lord Marsh and the special education program, a great many poor people will have a second chance in life. I can't quite work it out. Do you have any ideas to the number of people who might owe you their lives? Oh, don't embarrass me, Mr. Holmes. But indeed, these people have become like a family to me. That would be a fairly large family, I imagine. <laughs> yes, the, the list would be longer than any of your short stories. As for how large, well, Fisher is the one who keeps record. Might we take a glance at the list? I regret that is impossible. It is confidential. I stand firm upon that point, Mr. Ho